So look, you can relieve your lower back pain or even prevent it altogether. Let's get into it. Warm up with a basic knee-to-chest stretch. It'll help relieve the tension in your lower back. Lie down on your back, pull your right knee into your chest with your hands. Squeeze your abs and press your spine into the floor. Hold it like that for 5 seconds. Release the leg back down. Now, lift your left leg the same way. Try 3 reps on each leg. The next exercise is the wall sit. It's a must if you spend a lot of time at a desk or on the couch. Stand one step from the wall. Now lean back until you feel your spine flat up against it. Slowly start to bend your knees. Remember to press your lower back into the wall. Stay like this and count to 10. Then carefully and slowly move back up. Do 10 reps of this exercise. Move into Upward Facing Dog. If your back hurts a lot, better skip this one. But if it's just occasional pain, this move can really strengthen up your back muscles, which is great for your posture. Lie down with your hands pressing into the floor by your middle ribs. Engage your muscles and lift your chest. Next, your hips, knees, and legs lift off the floor and the tops of your feet press into it. Draw your shoulder blades back and down and look forward. Stay here for about 5 breaths, then go back down. Try to do 5 reps. Practice it with a chair first if you're worried about injuries. Put your hands on the edge of the chair and open up your chest, just like the floor version. Keep those arms straight. Next up is Bird Dog. It keeps your low back tight when your arms and legs are moving around. Get down on all fours and squeeze those abs. Lift one leg up to hip level and extend it out behind you. Now stretch the opposite arm in front of you. Hold it for 5 seconds, then do the same on the other side. Try for 12 reps on each side. If it seems too easy, try holding the pose for longer. Another animal combo coming up, cat-cow. This one makes you more flexible and helps soothe any unwanted tension in your lower back. Get back down on all fours and keep your knees hip-width apart. Pull your belly button up into your spine woo, and put your head down. You're doing the cat! Stay here for 5 seconds. You'll feel a nice stretch in your lower back. Now go back to neutral. Lift your head and lower your belly. Keep your spine long, don't slouch. Congratulations, you're a cow! Stay there for 5 seconds. Try to do it another 15 times. Inhale on cow and exhale on cat. Alrighty, enough of the animal world. Let's get into the bridge position. Lie on your back with your knees up and your feet on the floor. It's okay if your back curves a bit, you don't have to keep it flat. Push your heels into the floor, squeeze those abs, and lift your hips. When your body's in a straight line, hold it for 10 seconds. Try 5 reps on this one. Now, let's do some partial crunches. Skip this one if your back is hurting today. Otherwise, get ready for a delicious squeeze. Lie on your back just like in the bridge pose. You can support the back of your head with your fingertips. Now, squeeze your abs and lift your shoulders slowly. Keep your feet and low back on the mat. Go up, pause, then go down. Can you do 10 reps? I know you can. All right, you need a little break after that last one. Get a towel or a blanket and roll it up for some belly flops. It's gonna feel great. Put the roll horizontally in front of you. Now lie down on it face down. The roll should be under your hips. You can put your head to either side, doesn't matter. Just relax. After a few minutes, you'll feel the tension washing away. Flip onto your stomach, but keep that towel roll under your hips. It's back extension time. Keep your arms down by your sides, palms facing in. Lift your shoulders, head, and arms and hold for a few seconds. Then relax back down. Ready for the full experience? Lift your legs along with your shoulders, head, and arms. Let's do some lying lateral leg lifts. That's a lot of L's. Lie on your side next to a wall. Press your back and legs up against it and keep your lower legs straight. Try not to lean your hips forward. Squeeze your core and slowly lift your top leg up and down. Try for 10 reps, then flip over and do the other side. 
To cool down and make your core muscles more stable, finish up with some lower back rotations. Lie down on the floor, face up, and put your arms out to the side. Bend your knees, then slowly move them to one side, head facing the other way. Hold for 10 seconds, and then go back to neutral. Move your knees to the other side just like before. Do 3 reps on each side, take a deep breath, relax, and smile. This routine is great for your lower back and can even prevent injuries by making you stronger and more flexible. If you try it and feel the pain get worse, stop right away and see a doctor. There are also some exercises that you should never ever do if you have lower back pain. Toe touches stretch your ligaments and spinal discs and stretch your lower back muscles too much. Basic sit-ups also put too much pressure on your spinal discs, so just do the partial crunches I showed you. Regular leg lifts aren't that great either. When you lift both legs while lying on your back, you're asking a lot from your core. Stick to the lateral leg lifts we did earlier, they're hard enough. Your back will really appreciate if you wear comfy shoes without extreme heels, especially if you move around all day. It doesn't like slouching and prefers good posture. Remember to warm up before any physical activity, and don't lift objects that look and feel too heavy. How about a wheeled suitcase or even a briefcase, instead of a heavy backpack? Check if all the surfaces you use every day are the right height for you. You shouldn't have to slouch down to use them. If you're a surgeon or nurse, bus driver, construction worker, farmer, airline crew, firefighter, or police officer, janitor, or have some other job that involves a lot of pulling, lifting, and twisting, stay alert and keep active. Try some aerobics on the weekend. Take a yoga class or do Pilates to keep your muscles strong and flexible.